Hundreds of thousands of migrants have entered the U.S. under a Biden White House initiative to allow migrants to bypass the border and fly directly into the U.S. For the first time, we're getting to see which airports the migrants are most frequenting, with 80 percent of them landing in the Sunshine State. The program is meant to serve as a safer and less complicated pathway into our country, according to the Biden administration. But some critical of the program say it's just adding to the already overwhelmed immigration system and question its legality. First, what's the program? The CHNB parole program stands for Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, Venezuela. Migrants from those countries can fly to the U.S. if they pass background checks and find a U.S. citizen sponsor. The migrant is responsible for airfare expenses. Once in the U.S., they can apply for work. And after two years, there are a number of options that would allow them to remain in the U.S. The program has been around since January of last year. More than 400,000 migrants have taken advantage of it. The Homeland Security House Committee wanted to know where these migrants are flying into and subpoenaed the Department of Homeland Security for the data. The committee was given numbers from January to August of 2023, showing U.S. destinations for 200,000 of the migrants. The other 200,000 migrants who utilized the program from September on are not included in this data set. Here's a look at the top 15 cities migrants flew into during the eight-month span. 80% of them fly into Florida. Miami had more than 90,000 migrants fly into the city. Florida's Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, and Tampa saw 161,000 migrants travel through their airports. New York saw nearly 15,000, Houston 8,000, and 3,000 to L.A. Texas challenged the program in court, but lost. Florida is also fighting to end the program, something the governor has previously called secretive and illegal. But it's secret in the sense, yes, we know the program's going on. We're suing over it. We think it's illegal. We know it's illegal and not constitutional, but they are not coordinating with state government at all. If they throw six people on a commercial flight, uh, coming from a foreign country, there's no uh, acknowledgement at all uh, to state or local authorities. That's just the fact. One of the most controversial aspects of the parole program is, according to DHS, the migrants flying over are considered inadmissible, which means not permitted by law to enter the U.S., the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee responded, what they're essentially saying is that the laws passed by Congress have said that these people are inadmissible, and so they created a program to try to get around those laws. The thing is, they don't have the authority to create such a program. By their own admission, they're breaking the law. The White House released a statement saying this is a lawful process that cuts out smugglers seeking to take advantage of vulnerable individuals considering migrating, and that has successfully decreased irregular migration from these countries. To say this process is secret is laughably false. This program initiative by the Biden White House is capped to 30,000 migrants a month. There are already millions of migrants on a waiting list who have applied. Straight Arrow News wants you to be well informed on issues that matter to you. And a new Gallup poll released this week shows immigration is still the number one issue for American voters. Some voters believe programs like this can be a solution and give some slack to a strained immigration system by allowing certain migrants who qualify to bypass it while other voters believe it's incentivizing more immigration when cities are already overwhelmed. The two major political parties having two very different viewpoints over an issue likely to play a large role come November.